What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to Anno 1800. Well, winter has finally arrived in Anno as well. We got snow, we got snowfall and not only in the Arctic, that just makes the Christmas market that we have here just a bit more beautiful. Even though, well, Christmas kind of is over, we still have some Christmas markets here and there that are open. And so is uh, the Christmas market in Crown Falls as well still available for my people now beautiful weather that we have here unfortunately we don't have any snow down the trees but it's still a nice effect that well took me by surprise a bit now we do have a new newspaper edition let's have some smaller propaganda here again and it's not only winter in crown falls with the weather it's also the winter of the life of the admiral since in this episode well we are kind of going to defeat him i've collected my fleet now that i have with well the little influence that i still had remaining um gathered my fleet in three of his last port ports that we have here so we have here this little town here with no defense so i've got only three battle cruisers here we do have Karaka up here with some minor defense. So I've got my ship Stations. of the lines here. They're very powerful against him. He still has his main fleet circling around here. That is a bit worrying. And down here, uh, oddly enough, on the smallest island that he's got, he's actually got his biggest defense. So I've got my main fleet here, most of my battle cruisers. So what I want to do right now, I'm just waiting a bit for his main fleet to kind of go away again. I don't know what they're doing exactly. Um, coming back now here. I haven't declared war on him yet and he certainly won't do his, uh, won't declare war on me by himself because I'm way too powerful for that. So we're just waiting because I don't want his main fleet or well his ships here surprising my <laughs> surprise attack over here in Karaka. Well because well, you know my, my captains and my ships are just here for the sights. There's no other problem here. So, yeah, please go away again. And... Oh, he's not trusting. He's not trusting his side there. But we'll just wait there a bit longer. Now, what I've also done is, in the old world, where it's also snowing, I've sent a few of my ships here to um, some of my lonely islands because we can only defeat him if he's got no island left anymore. As long as he's got one island, we still haven't defeated him. That's the problem. So we definitely want to get rid of him for good by, well, just taking all of his islands at once. And that is go going to be the plan right now. He is a bit suspicious of that. So I certainly can't defeat the harbor there with his fleet there. So we... Oh, perfect. They just say, well, you're here for the sights. I trust you. And off he goes again. They're just patrolling around then. Over here it's looking good. Over here it's looking good, we got some ships here, but we can certainly take care of them. And now I just wait for those ships here to kind of, well, go away there even more. And do we have something else? No, no more ships for sale here. So right now, we're really just waiting for the perfect opportunity of the surprise attack that we have there. Over here, everything's looking good. His ships are looking normal there. I think they're kind of stuck in there now. It doesn't matter. I think it's time for the big surprise attack that we have. It should be good. Talent won't manifest without discipline. We don't have any relationship anymore. Yeah, they're kind of stuck there, so I just hope they, they stay stuck. Okay, so it's time. Diplomacy and declare war, and that's it. Now we have open battle. I need to focus all my ships on a few targets at once. Very important, otherwise they will also just attack, you know, at the docks perhaps at some point. Um, and we certainly don't want to have that. Now we have already defeated the first defense here, so let's focus on the next one. Let's just ignore his ships. And they are also attacking now the defense here and he's also declaring war on me but I don't care you know because he's already in a please use more appropriate language bug loop in here oh his ships are now on the move perhaps we can make it on time here we are just destroying now his last defense focusing Ship now on the warehouse down here it looks a bit more complicated so we still haven't really destroyed his morale there too much he's got some very good defense over there 
was destroyed. One of my ships is now gone. Your enemy's resistance is crumbling. Okay, perfect. We got the first one. I don't know what, where though. Let's conquer this one. It's it was the weakest one. And we're still in this one here, perfect. We got the next one. Up there, I guess. Yeah. And I think we are we could be losing now my ship of the lines here that we have there. So this is really his last island now. There is another defense over there. Gone. Let's focus on the warehouses there. Oh boy. I could be losing. Nope. Okay, I think that's it. And yeah. That is victory. So we have now defeated all the enemies at last in this game. And he off he goes. I'm... Okay, finally he stopped rambling. We cheated, obviously. Let's continue, of course. And yeah, that's it. So the Admiral is now gone for good. A competitor has been annihilated. That is just so good to hear that we finally got rid of the Admiral, has been annihilated, so he's gone. Also, his ships are gone from all the walls, as we can see. So that's the end of the Admiral. We now have a lot of battleships that we don't need anymore, because we don't have any competitor anymore. Pirates are not a problem. Especially since he is also destroyed, so he can't build any more ships, you know, and he's just got this destroyed fort and Anne Harlow and I are quite on good terms so it's time it's also time to get rid of a lot of my ships this is going to be interesting and look at that the admiral ships now are white so they are neutral hopefully never to come back again I think they will just disappear and just sail off into the ocean or something and let's destroy my ships there that kind of hurt But they've done their job. Actually, those eight, six ship of the lines only gave me eight influence. Is that right? That sounds a bit strange there. Let's destroy my battle cruisers too. Let's start with the more destroyed ones there. Yeah, that's a bit more influence there. Alrighty. And I will probably still keep a few, you know, like those two there. Let's keep them in the new world. Just, just in case, just in case the pirate is doing something. Um, we don't have any more ships as far as I know, battleship wise. There is one in Crown Falls. Let's keep this one too, just for the sake of it. So people can watch battle cruisers from time to time, visit them if they want to, like a museum. And here in the old world, I still have those two. Let's also keep them. And I'm just going to have them here in the, in the middle there. So just in case the pirate tries something. But it should be good so far. Perfect, so that's that. We do have a bit of influence back. Now, what I also wanted to do, as you know, is, well, get rid of some of the islands that we have. We got way too many islands right now, costing me a lot of influence. Like in the new world, I don't need that many islands. I especially don't need this ugly thing up here that is not really any useful to me. And I just can get them back later. You know, so that's 30 influence that I got back here. Now, this one here is also a small one that I don't need. Another 15 influence. And we still have three battle cruisers here. Let's also get rid of them. Because I do have my two battle cruisers here working for me. And we also have an island here that I don't need. It was one of the admirals. Another 19 influence. That just feels very good. And that small one here, four influence. Well, what the hell? Let's do it anyway. We do have quite a good oil deposit here. We can still take it back later. Or, I don't know, perhaps a new competitor appears at some point and just takes back those islands there. Wouldn't be the worst thing that's happening. And over here in the old world, we have this empty island here that I certainly don't need at the moment. Another 33 influence. The same goes for Liquid. Oh, that were quite expensive, right? 17 influence and Calape for another 36 and look at that 300 influence available now Magwitch used to be the Admiral ones 35 influence very good and Bristle there is now I think yep the Queen having the share here but I don't care really let's get rid of that another 17 influence so those islands are now barren again without any ownership 
and we'll just take them back later if we need them. Right now, I'm really happy about the amount of influence that we have because there's still something that we want to achieve there and that's a propaganda. So we want to get for the master rhetorician up here and we would need to invest 300 influence, I think at once, something like that. So I really want to reach that. We have reached the Admiral before. So this one here, the first Sea Lord, um, we have reached that. We have not reached propaganda yet, and I think there's a, sm a smaller achievement for that. Um, the rest here, optimization. I don't know why this one... I don't know why we've lost the bonus there. Optimization. Town Hall, Trade Unions, Harbor Master. Right, we're going to go for that because we are going to build some Trade Unions as well. Some of you complained that, well, I'm not using enough Trade Unions. And you're totally right, of course. So we do have some items, as far as I know. Um, for the trade union that we could use in our canned food production so we don't need that much anymore um, and as you can see we really have lots of items also we have now enough influence to bump up more of my my zoo and my botanical gardens here we have the zoo and look at that what a happy population crown falls is all of a sudden because i don't know why honestly let's have a look there Do we have something new and this isn't it. I think they're happy because we won the war. Nope, actually. Oh yeah, Island P is 5 happiness there, but that's not much. Yeah, anyway, we got lots of, of happiness there now. And influence, we can finish the suit that we have here. That I really wanted to build there in the first place. Workforce shortage. No, that's not looking good. And as I said, this is not a symmetrical zoo like we have done with the botanical gardens there. So this is really a zoo where people can walk around then and just enjoy their day. So like that one here, yeah. And I think that's the end of the zoo now. Could have something up here, yeah. Very good. Because we can have some other ornaments in between here, you know, like, yeah, another garden here if we want to. That would fit in there. We can use, we can actually use the modules from the botanical gardens in the zoo too. I do like that concept. And we can have some pathways here where people can walk around. And I think we should also be building the pavilion. And right, let's have the pavilion up here. A second one. And isn't that perfect, that pavilion here? So people can listen to the music while enjoying that view. Are you kidding me? That is definitely something I want to, where I would like to live. Workforce shortage. So there we have our little pavilion now. And I think we should be using something like... Yeah. We could be using that one here. Then we just need the pathway here finish it off have a little garden there now we can actually upgrade them so the zoo would be complete now in its layout but of course so that it looks at least a bit like it's planned two endings there that definitely looks better um right so that's the fences that we have we still have a bit of room here and here so here we could use um certainly some flower beds i do like the flower beds there And on this side here, we could have something like a fountain. Or a stature over here. Nah, that doesn't fit in a in a zoo. Statues. However, I can't find the fountains. There it is. Okay, so that we have a little plaza here as well where people can sit and enjoy the day. So a few bench, benches here and probably a kiosk where they can purchase something. I don't know, we could pretend there is food being sold. And yeah. Little pathway there as well. So people can purchase something there. Perfect. That's that. And now we just fit in some, well, some animals. We should have quite a few of them over here. We have, we're starting off with some arctic wolves. Going then to the elk. 
or caribou, that's it. There's the caribou that we have over here. And then we have some sea animals there. So the swordfish and the black caiman. And close to the pavilion, we have the lion's mane jellyfish, the epic one over here. And then we have the seahorses. And look at that, the people coming in here. And the manta ray over there. And that's the zoo that we've just created as well. Just at the edge of the city. Oh my goodness, that is just so perfect. Especially with that music pavilion. We don't have any musical sheets right now. Um, we do have them in the other botanical garden. And in this zoo, we still need to collect it. So with a, I guess with some quests, expedition quests. But that is just really, really nice looking. Here we still have some empty room, some empty space. And look at that, even the marketplace has got some Christmas trees here. So I've totally not um, lo locked in during Christmas. I was away with my family and as we can see, lots of things have changed. I don't think the game even downloaded anything. So it just came with the Christmas package then. But I do like the details. I would have loved to have some snow in the trees though. But well, you can't have everything, right? Now here, we still want to have some ornaments. With the... Oh yeah, with the marketplace, definitely only a small entrance there. And then perhaps... The bust of someone or some yeah flower pots that we have there. with two wells there where the horses can drink something and here we still have something that we need and I think a fountain might fit in there just nice yeah having a fountain here and then we could have a fountain here too and probably some trees then as well we haven't used any trees there so we do have the elm tree And here then, well, some patches of flowers, flower patches there for a nice entrance. And also, your also here is still a nice spot and here. And we're very close to the next level there. But that is just looking very, very chilled, I say. So let's, oh, and it stopped snowing, by the way. Yeah. Let's have a look down there, shall we? Walking down here, so on this side here we now have our botanical gardens. And here we have now the zoo, and yeah, frame rate is dipping quite hard since we are looking now at the city, of course. And then we have, oh yeah, I love that, with the houses there in the background that we can still see. And then walking through our little zoo here. So many people. And if you're here, oh, that is just amazing. If you're here at the edge of the zoo, you can then see the city in the background. Amazing view that we have there. And over here, we then have yeah the mountains, of course, and our music pavilion there. Empty at the moment because we haven't found a musical sheet yet. So with the musical sheet, we will have an orchestra here then, of course, and people who can sit here and watch them playing while also looking down at the city there. Just beautiful. I think I nailed it with that one. That is my crowning piece there. That's Sue up here on the plateau there. Beautiful with the botanical gardens. Well, we still have the problem that we haven't really capped it um, with the attractiveness. And yeah, we have um, the propaganda here and I want to use, you know, the propaganda master. So let's use I think we need to use 300 points for that. Is and in this case, let's see what where we could have. Yes. Oh, productivity of weapon factories. Facts the chance of surrender and your residents happiness while under siege. No, we don't need that. I cannot thank you enough for okay, so we probably will want minus 50% right chance. I mean elderly stakeholders. Plus 15. Nope, that's not fitting. My that's 300. House. 
Okay, that we publish it. So, he's totally out of control. Um, yeah, and we should have now the bonus. Perfect. We now have the bonus that gives us the, the newspaper 25% um, happiness there um, on our propaganda on top of what we already have. So that's a pretty cool thing there. And as you can see now, optimization and trade are still the missing things here. And we can see that under the overview. So we should use more trade unions for the optimization and for trade. We should have more trade ships and airships because they cost influence and then affect the bonus that we have here. I think because we lost a few cargo ships in the war. And with that, we just need to purchase some of them back to get that bonus there again we're not purchasing any warships anymore that's certainly something we don't need um yeah but we can't purchase them here as well so we probably will need to start building our cargo ships again because we will need quite a lot of them and if we look at the upgrade view we could still upgrade a few workers that we also want um to upgrade of course especially those ones here close to the harbor Let's also upgrade those people there. And there are some people here that we could upgrade. Mm, let's see. I want to kill. Uh, still keep it like dynamically um, upgraded. You know, so it dynamically upgrades there. Or it looks like it at least. There we have a whole bunch of workhouses here. Workers. They could also upgrade in that area there. Very good. Farmers are a bit low there, so we also have to check that. But so far, so good. Beautiful town. We still have some room here that we can use. And of course, we still also have the district up here that we haven't used that coming up then soon as well. And of course, our trade unions. I'm pro I promise you that we're going to have some trade unions to use all those items. But I first need to look through them. Stay tuned. <laughs> 